this is Mary over here at Images on the Page, and today I guess I decided I would do something not 100% book related. Um, I've talked about it a few times, I do bullet journaling. I find it very helpful, it's really easy for me to keep track of things because I do work two jobs and I do booktube. I have all these other things that I have to get done, so it helps me keep organized and it's also a way for me to keep everything together. And I figured I would just kind of do a quick bullet journal walkthrough with, for you guys today. So the pink book we have here on my right um, is what I kind of started out with. It is just a normal bullet journal. As you can see, I've actually completed it. Um, it's the favorite, the favorite child of the bullet journal world. It's the Latrum 1917, I think. Um, and I moved into what is called a traveler's journal. Now mine is kind of an abbreviated champ traveler's journal because um, I do still have multiple journals in here but I do also still have a bullet journal in and of itself so usually travelers journals are made up of a bunch of these little notebooks and someone will have like um, maybe a monthly and then a weekly and then something else um, but I didn't really like the idea of that so I have my normal bullet journal which has my monthly weeklies and then um, this is stuff that I would, I, well, I'll, I'll get to that. So this is my bullet journal now. Um, it's actually a knockoff of the Lettrum. I got it at Michael's for like five bucks. The Lettrums usually run about 20. Um, the paper quality isn't as nice and the pages aren't numbered, but it is still dotted. It still works for what I need it to. I mean, I definitely miss the Lettrum. Wonderful pages, but colorful i have a friend who likes it a lot more minimalist and that's the original that's how the original creator of the bullet journal started it so here i'm trying out a new layout it didn't work i absolutely hated this i went back to how i was doing it this is my june this is probably one of my favorite layouts um here i actually introduced a tbr it's the first month i've ever done a tbr as you can see i didn't do so hot that month um but i do really like the idea of it I have this cute little shelf and I just add the books to it. I once again have my videos and then my habit tracker. And then I'm still staying with the Dutch doors, which I do really love. I just wasn't using it as much. Here's a couple of bullet journal things. This is something I didn't end up doing apparently. Um, the orange is like I said for book review. This is another like... Um, if I do any tags or anything and I want to write down the questions, this is what I use to do it. Um, here's another one. And then once again, back to my weeklies. And I'm still doing the Dutch door. It isn't actually until July this month that I've done anything else. So here's my July. I did a little camping scene and fireworks. I don't love it as much. That's my TBR. It's gotten a little crazy because I've kind of deviated. Um, I'm still doing the videos because I do like to track that. Um, hey. Ujo walkthrough. As you can see, I'm filming that right now, so that's what that will be filled in. And habit tracker, which I'm obviously not doing so well at. And then this is the new weekly spread that I've tried. And I actually am really enjoying it. I have them in boxes, so I still kind of have my week at a glance up here because I still do them this way. I just did them in these little boxes. And instead of cutting the page for dailies, I just created a little space. I have notes down here, which I haven't used in my next week, which I really like putting up because it makes me aware of what extra I have that week as opposed to just, uh, instead of just work. Um, here's my book stats. I actually got this idea from Lala over at Books on Lala. She actually tracks just her stuff for bullet, um, for booktube, so that's kind of cool. I have it all together just because my life isn't as interesting as hers, so I don't need as much space as she does. I track the first half of the year and I hopefully before I move on to a new one I'll be able to fill in this one and then this is so this is this week actually it's today Sunday um, I tried something a little bit different so I used this really fun thin washi tape as you can see I absolutely love washi tape once again I have my week at a glance up here and then I put in this section anything that needs to get done but doesn't have doesn't have a deadline so like work i have to show up to work obviously my bills are have to be due on that day because if i go over i'll get charged these are stuff that i should get done that day i really need to 
but if I move them to a different day, it won't be the end of the world. And I have my next week tracker down here, and I don't know what I'll do in this space. Maybe I'll doodle. I've just been leaving it blank. So that is my current bullet journal and how it's set up. Um, and now I'll, I'll show you why I have moved on to a traveler's journal. So the reason I moved into a traveler's journal is I was having, so there's some information that a lot of people keep in the back of their bullet journals. So like I kept what, um, how much I owed for my student loans every month, what some of my passwords were like for websites that I don't use as often. And I would have to transfer that every time into my new bullet journal. And I just got really sick of doing that. And so I moved into a traveler journal because I just have it all in this convenient little notebook, which hopefully I will never have to transfer information from because it has like what loan, how much my student loans I have to pay each month for each loan. I have birthdays. Um, I really need to fill that in. I have, I'm doing a bill tracker. So this is like a way for me to keep track of my bills just like a couple months at a time. I have it filled in through July here. Um, I need to start doing the one for August. And then I don't really have it filled in because I just want to keep it full of stuff that I absolutely need all the time. And I don't want to have to run out of this. I have my book rating system, my new one that I've not actually been using. I have a bunch of my books. Kind of wish I hadn't put this in here because I'm putting up an, I'm doing an Excel sh spread for it, but I kind of like how it really looks. It was a bear. It drove me a little crazy, but it's books I already own that I really need to read. Um, I have... These are all ebooks. I have quite a bit of those. This is probably my favorite doodle I've ever done. These little like succulents, cac they're cacti. Um, and I absolutely love them. And then in the back here, which I kind of moved out of doing, I have to be, um, my to be read or TBR list. Just stuff of books I'm really interested in in case I'm ever at the store and want to pick something up. But I've been trying really hard not to buy new books that I don't already know that I love because that's how I got all those books to read that I haven't read yet. Now this one is more of a just an extra one. I used to have um, like my bo booktube scripts. I didn't actually write it out, but they were like tags if I, and then what the answers were to them, just like extra things, lists that I could give away. Right now I am the maid of honor for my best friend's wedding. Um, um, and so I've had to plan a lot lately. And so I have, I've just dedicated this to being a bridesmaid or being a maid of honor. Um, and I just have it set up so that I have it all in like all together. So the schedule of when the bridal showers, bachelorette party, the wedding and different information that I need, like for the bridal shower and bachelorette, any ideas, I can just write them down. People who need to be invited, um, stuff like that. And that is my bullet journal layout. Well, until the next video, ta-ta for now.